Oh, oh yeah. yeah. These will be perfect for the one day that it rains in California. Yeah, yeah. that's the one day. Rain. They were almost telling the person how to sneak it yeah, out of the factory. <laughs> oh my god, and we got box. Box. I have to come to Dallas more often. Yeah, yeah. This is I fun. So guys, if you clicked on this video, you are about to watch the second video that I filmed out in Dallas at Private Selection. Something that they do on their YouTube channel is they review a bunch of early sneakers all in one video. I actually became a fan of their YouTube channel because of these types of videos they do. And I thought to myself, the best way to collab with them is to showcase what their channel is all about. Go subscribe to their channel because these guys do deserve a lot more subscribers than they have. Another reason why you should go subscribe to their channel is because we are going to be teaming up to give away this shoe right here, the Trophy Room Jordan 1. So yeah, if you want to find out how to enter the giveaway, you have to watch the full video because we explain the rules in the video. So this video might be a little long, but it's definitely going to be worth it because it's going to be entertaining and because we have this huge giveaway in the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it because we have a lot to show you guys. So many sneakers, like literally 15 pairs and a huge shout out to the PCH family, the private selection family for bringing me out. If you didn't see the last video where I pranked some of their employees, go watch it. I'll leave the link down below or you could just go to my channel and you'll see it. Early bird special here on Crew TV. Let's check out some of these unreleased shoes and uh, let's get it going, man. As you guys can see, we got three big boxes of early shoes. This might be the biggest one we've ever done. I think. This is definitely the biggest one. How we've many ever pairs done. we got? Uh, I didn't. We didn't even count. We just like, started throwing maybe, them in the box. It's over ten pairs. Yeah, it's over ten pairs. For Damn. sure, over ten pairs. I'm hyped because there's a lot of stuff I've seen on the internet, but I haven't seen them in hand. I don't know. You never we'll know. Yeah. You, you never know. know. You never know. You never know. But like, that's that's one of the coolest parts of the experience for me too is the fact that you see these leaks online, these you know, and you see it for the first time, and it's exciting. But to see it, to have it in hand, and be able. But to But it touch also it. changes your mind about yeah. certain things because you'll see a picture and it doesn't represent the shoe as well. The then colors, when you get it in hand, you're like, different, the yeah, material. Then when it's in hand, you're like, yeah. all right, I'm actually messing with this. I like this shoe. Or the opposite. Or I'm like, not messing or with this. I thought I would. Yeah. Yeah. And so we basically categorize each box from novice to expert being yeah. the most rare or the most hype. And so we're just going to basically start cooking, heating up the kitchen as we go along. So I'm hyped for this. This is the type of content that they, ha that they have on their channel. So if you guys want to check out their channel, I'll leave the link down below. Definitely go subscribe. Not only do they make great content, but we might... Do we have a giveaway? Yeah, we got a giveaway. We, we, we definitely have a Should giveaway. Should we show the box? The box is We'll show weird. you a little preview just, of what we're giving away in this video. You have to watch the whole thing, but- Can you might tell me what that know? is? Yeah, what is that? Comment down below if you know what that is that we're giving away. We'll tell you later on in the video. Let's go ahead and get started. Right. I'm gonna move yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah. Start, we're gonna start- Definitely start with that Yeah, one. we're gonna start super novice. Okay. 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 Keep it simple. Go ahead and hold that one. Okay, I so like what? this. Is there is there any storytelling with this or it's just the no storytelling? And there's technically not even name out yeah. there for it at all either. Kind of like a, a reverse so panda. Yeah. I see. I see what you're just looking at. Yeah, there. I'm looking at you the see, You see that? That's the only thing I noticed because it's such a simple yeah, color. It's different but... and it's different. It says it's comfort. We took the insole out and it's not. There's no. There's, there's no, no comfort in it. Either. It's so weird. I, I don't know what the deal is. The insole. Are they usually yellow like this? No. I don't no. think so. No. That looks almost recycled also, by the way, if yeah. you flip it on the bottom. Yeah. And then secondly, these don't actually have the sample tag or anything to them yeah, yet. Yeah, no tags yet. So that's how early it is with these pairs? Yeah, I think it's cool. Uh, we know the Dunk Wave is at an all-time high right now, and I think this is just going to be a dope colorway for the holiday if it comes out by right. then. Yeah, God right, knows sure. when these are coming for out. Sure. But... I'm a fan more of the black with white and not white with black, but I definitely could see it doing very well. If it had more panels, in my opinion, that were black, I think like I a, Like a color block toe, like yeah. a black toe box yeah. or something yeah. like that yeah it's cool it's you still know, clean you know what it kind of reminds me of too is the yin yang jordan one there you yes. go there you go yes. perfect yeah. that, that was, was like the example. most that was the number one shoe that people made customs out of yep. so like everybody did that. for me this is just an easy wearable i don't less i don't necessarily like to wear thousand dollar sneakers every day this is a good wearable beat up shoe you know yeah. what i mean a like, tuesday okay. through thursday fit like or monday yeah. through thursday exactly <laughs> a good yeah. monday fit i have to come to dallas more often this is fun here we go Boom. Oh, this I is like clean. These. This is clean. Come this on. I'm favorites. a high beast for the midsole. Yep. The age midsole. Same for us. Vintage Midnight Navy is yeah. exactly the name for it. Even Chino right now has the uh, Our employee. Uh, the yeah. baby blue ones on and uh, he put the this color yeah, laces. He puts cream in laces. Oh, yeah. So in this all his shoes, vintage is every yeah, does it yeah. to every shoe. So like even the uh the fours he did them to red fours yeah. he threw them yeah. in. Yeah. I do that too and they dope. make fun of me to the point where it's like people comment on every shoe pick and they're like, Is he gonna add cream laces? I'm like, not on this one, but 
not gonna lie. I well, feel like cream this, laces would have been dope. Oh, this. Yeah, this, this is, is maybe a we, cream lace contender. Right maybe it comes with it, and we just it's this is an early pair, obviously, so yeah. it may just not have it with it. I think this brings together a lot more fits in my opinion. I'll be able to do a lot more things with this. I don't typically wear navy a lot, but for some reason, I love this shoe. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's a good offset shoe. Like you may be wearing another color, but then that just But then this helps it tie the, it yeah. to this, there even if go. you're not wearing these colors, yeah. two yeah. colors. Because I'm the same way. I don't have a, a lot of navy in the closet, but I'm- Being from I'm, Dallas I'm and we don't wear way. navy, yeah. is something's yeah, wrong with us. Yeah, 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 only guys on Sundays. So is this something you would rock? Oh yeah, 100%. 1,000%? I like those, yeah. I like I would definitely rock these as well these would definitely do good in the store this is uh yeah it's a little right it's gr it's gr okay, it's but, GR, but you wanted good. to see it okay i know which one this you is you yep. asked about it yep people are gonna call it the what i'm trying to stay away from what yeah, you're thinking okay. yeah because right. right. okay. my wife's like stop saying that it's mean so yeah, okay, the okay. budget friendly budget yeah. friendly travis wow, scott low great, great way to say it budget, budget, budget friendly, friendly. friendly travis scott yeah. lows love it i like these bro i do like them With too pants. It, um <laughs> yeah because the inside is not it what i said too, because this, this like, coral oops, on the inside kind of kills it for me oh wow yeah pink laces pink laces the quilted sock sock liner is a pretty cool touch it's a good winter shoe this is definitely a good budget version of a Travis Scott. So yeah, I think these are dope. Obviously, when they do the, this version of the Jordan 1 Low with the fat tongue, it's not the OG, yeah. but they tend to make the quality not as good as the, the highs and whatnot. So I could kind of feel that this is going to crease. Yeah, it's, it's stiff. There's, it's not stiff. Even, there's not even like a, when you push in, you yeah. can't even see the crease <laughs> or anything. One panel. It's, it's, my very, yeah, <laughs> it's popping it back. But they did, they did add the 3M hit on the back, yep. if you see. That's a big part of it. So that's like, a real cool. That's a, I'm a fan of that. I wish they would have done the check black, in my opinion. It would have helped bring it out a little bit more, but I do think that this will do very well because of the season that we're in right now. Well, it's you almost know. like people that it's don't want to buy the mocha, yeah. right? Yeah. It, it's almost a mocha, just the, what is it? The This panel right here is black on the mocha, so. Correct. Cream laces on this too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would set it off for yeah. sure. Yeah. I wouldn't personally pick I'll those up, but I could definitely yeah. appreciate them for what they are. We're gonna stay in the dunk, dunk world. Okay, let's get it. Keep it dunky. 75th. Oh, it's I haven't 75th. seen these. I it's, want these. It's the 75th. Anniversary. If I get a dunk today, it might be these. If they have my size, what size R, is this? Nine and a half. Five. Yeah, it might be. Oh, we got every size. You're good. Dude. Yeah, these are sick, dude. This is a, basically like a reverse black toe. I feel like a lot of people don't even know that the dunk was a basketball shoe, so it's cool right. that they did the mm -hmm. 75th anniversary. I will say this. I, I'm kind of happy about it, but then I also am kind of sad about it. How they did the Air Force Ones for the 75. Yeah. And nobody gives yeah. a. Yeah. And they're like sitting. I will say this. This is what's crazy about the shoe. The price isn't that nuts on them right now yeah like StockX is like 200 bucks yeah yeah for this colorway it doesn't really make sense to me it'd be smart if you like if you want nuts, to get yeah. it now because it will it, it, will, it will go up, up. Yeah. anything anything closer towards the holidays is definitely gonna go up in price because right. people know they're willing to spend more money to get people gifts so if you're trying to get this shoe now now would be the time These that's my favorite part there is the diamond on the little lace lock part and the little aglet part it would have been cool if they kind of went the virgil route and did all 30 teams or yeah, 31 teams. Yeah, yeah. That would have been cool. Put it, the, put it in the universe right hey, now. Hey, Virgil, yeah. you should have took charge on that <laughs> yeah. one. Like, yeah. All right, I'm about to, we're switching teams now, though. All right, let's go. You ready? you already seen this before. What's different about it? The 3M oh, one, right? Reflective, yep. Okay, so I can't get excited for this, right? <laughs> I, can't, I can't, like, this, I mean, it's cool that they brought these back, I guess. More people can get them, but, like, yeah, I just... One of the things I brought up that I, I'm trying to figure out if I'm right or not, so they've re-released other shoes casually through Yeezy Day and stuff, which we've always heard is overstock of at the warehouse. They right. don't ever reproduce the shoes. Would this be considered maybe the first Because it's Yeezy been that many retro? years? It's been five years. Yeah, 2016 maybe. is when it dropped, so... Yeah, yeah because, like, breads have re-released, but yeah. it's not not like a new no, brand yeah. not at all. And then so, any yeah. other variations, it'll be like a 2.0 or they'll specifically Yeah, like when the bread like, did it, they changed the carbon fiber on the bottom. Yeah. They upped the panel on the patent leather. Like there was things that changed. Here, they made it reflective. It's now, just weird the way For he, you guys he, wondering, the 3M is gonna be in the dark panels right here. It's kind of hard to see. Personally, I just can't get excited did, for this. Did you own this? Do you have I this? I did. I had the original ones, yeah. I, did. I don't have them You got anymore. rid of all your Yeezys? I don't have 350s? any B2s. No, I, don't pick, I, I have don't. the OG Turtle Dove. I don't either. I don't either. I'm not going to wear them. I don't have I one B2. I don't have one B2. Same here. Right, but there's shoes that I'm not going to wear, but I might wear five years from now. I'm like, man, hell yeah, these are cool. I wish I had them. Can you bring them back out? My yeah. mindset when it comes to my sneaker collection is I have a certain amount of shoes that like will never leave my collection, but then there's stuff like this that I don't want it to just sit there because I know I could sell it and buy a new shoe to make content. So yeah. I'm, I'm always thinking content for first. Sure. I know that's what your wife Mina was saying. She was like, he sells yep. and flips and moves and around. She that's me why first. She and I'm like, that's what pays the bills at the end yeah. of the day. Like yeah. I have to always have the new for content. For content yeah. reasons. But I like I said, I have my 
my like my original Yeezy 350s, Turtle Doves, Pirate Blacks. I'll never get rid of those because okay. those okay. are just. I don't even care if they retro. You have Oxford, those. Moonlight, or I and, used to, but yeah. I got rid of those because I it's used to I never wore them. Any, yeah, yeah, they will. Any 350 will. that drops, as you can literally see behind us, does very very well, and we try to keep them fully stocked as long as we can until the prices just don't make sense with the resale value. You ain't got shit on me, homie, that's facts. I just bought a new crib, I buy another for the tax. We ain't in the same lead, we ain't in the same brax. I ain't made a joint yet, they already know it's slaps. Okay, so we're on to box two now. So we're, oh, yeah, in, right. we're in intermediate. Okay, we're going. Yeah, we're, it's, you know when you're about to boil and you see the little bubbles start to rise? Yeah. That's where we're at right now. And I think you said you wanted to see this. I think. Let's see. Oh, Gore yes. Gore-Tex. I love when they do different versions of the Jordan 1. I feel like I'm the only person that gets hyped for it. Like, they did the, the Zip ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. bought a pair, and people were like, didn't care. And I'm like, bro, these are fire. Yeah, yeah. The and those Inter never even came out in America either. Yeah. So yeah, the drop like, tops. Yeah, yeah, stuff like this. Like, I've never seen. A sole like that. Yeah, yeah, this is crazy. We like, still don't understand what this technically is or what it's supposed to be, but yeah. I like Oil it. Spill or... Yeah, it's, I mean, it's cool. Like <laughs> At the end of the day, I know that I could comfortably go out and thrash around and those on a rainy day right, i yep. never jordan one is the last shoe i put on on a rainy day but with these i could change my mind so with that being said rainy day the cool thing about these is when you pull this back right here yeah, you can see that it's guys. waterproof all the way up into the ankle it's oh. sewn in so it's here like all the way in. down is waterproof until you get to about the little break right here in the and corner that, for me the sake of utility yeah i'm sold yeah. the whole if, inside if is like covered yeah. like they yeah. did like it's a second super padded. layer super yeah. padded and if you're wondering why these are super stuffed is because these were out of the warehouse so <laughs> yeah, yeah these were definitely they, yep. yeah yeah you, you could see the they were crease these line were right here bad. where they were bent back yeah, and, and bad, put yeah. into wherever compartment to hide these are sick mm -hmm. along with what, the water weather it's confusing to me because they made it waterproof but then they did the whole shoe suede this, unless it's I'm, maybe waterproof suede yeah know. you know how like yeah, the shoe cleaner treated. company yeah, is for sure for sure um they have it with that or something they could we need a dropper to like drop a couple of just see if it just see if it rolls off i mean i have my water water bottle Let's watch the roll off. And I think there is a second colorway of this too. It's like a black. I've seen a darker one. Yeah, it's yeah, a better yeah, roll off the toe there. You want to do it off the toe? <laughs> oh, I was going to say down. Don't get on the box. Don't get on the box. Do it on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Let me get it again. Pour into the other shoes. All right, here we go. Yeah. Bro, oh, it is. Oh, it no, hold on. That flew off. That's, on, this is like a freaking infomercial or something like that. We didn't do this on our episode. Bro, so, literally just uh, bounce off the so, suede. It's almost like they like infuse the suede with like. So look, uh, what, yeah. so look, what's gonna happen now is everyone needs to buy these, put them in your car, and wear your cool shoes in your car. And when it rains when you're driving, <laughs> you swap out, out take these out, these out, and run through the water, take yeah. them off, and then put your other shoes on when you get inside. No more trash bags around no your. No more shoes. trash bags. They got you covered. Gore Tex exactly. got you covered. Like there's a whole there's businesses that specialize in making things to cover your shoe right. or whatever to deal with We've, the rain but have you no. lifted up the insole or no so we thought no. it was going to be a comfort because they did comfort style yeah, yeah. colors no. but it's not we it's, thought it was yeah. though we we thought it was like, be, but it's not. i even ripped it out and i tried to argue with ian he's like no bro I'm like, no, like squeezing yeah. it they would definitely brand it with yeah the, for uh, sure sure yeah. yeah or it'd say the c different ft or whatever on the yeah. sole different um patch on the tongue though too than your regular yeah. aj1 it looks like they accidentally like misaligned it or something too these are fire bro i want these these will be perfect for the one day that it rains in california yeah that's that's saying, you got no rain out there dude in la when it rains people panic yeah. bro and i'm like bro Speaking it's just of, rain uh we were in long beach and the airport is outside and i'm like bro this is horrible like what if it rains and then he's like <laughs> it doesn't it rain, doesn't rain yeah. so you're good and i'm like oh okay all right we're gonna keep it with uh jordan december releases now the cool part about seeing these shoe releases early especially a long lineup like this is now it's letting you decide what your budget is and what to pick and choose from yeah. within these you know however yeah. many pairs we're going through because everybody wants them all yeah but now if you see them all firsthand you're like all right cool now i know not to get those but for sure get these and get which those. ones to ask for christmas yeah which <laughs> ones to ask for christmas oh here it is my favorite okay i've seen these let's go i've it's, seen these but these are dope technically the colorway is atmosphere yeah. but it's the bubble gum. It's what bubble everybody's gum. Calling. Flip over. Wait, who's got the bubble gum pair? I got it. I got it. I'll okay, show you in a second. Right, right. So what you guys, the pearl, iridescent, patent leather. But the surprise is why they're called bubble gums. Boop. It's because it looks like you stepped in some bubble gum. <laughs> hey, they're really going hard with their, like, Super the cool. bottom of the shoe with yep. the Gore-Tex and this. Yeah, and this is what we're talking tight. about, like, the themed shoes. Like, yeah. does it's Kanye the, need the to do this? little detail. Kanye needs to do some themes, man. Yeah. Okay, instant cop for you. 
No, very no. Uh, maybe for Wait, wifey. Maybe for wifey. For wifey? Wow. But it, it is a women's shoe. It's a women's shoe. I like, I like them, but I just again, this is a shoe that I would have for a little bit and then get rid of them. And yeah, I just, I, I'm being smarter with that too. So yeah. I think this would be a good pickup for wifey because. She loves the uh, the Art Basel Jordan ones. Yes, yes and we know the prices yeah. on that. Kind of, rustic pink. Yeah, yeah, and it kind of has that. Yeah, yeah, it has a very similar to vibe to that. As far as the storytelling goes, I like it, but I kind of feel like this one is a little forcing it. Yeah. The bubblegum idea, but it's it is black. still cool. Like I really like that. I will say that I love the soft patent leather. Yeah, because patent leather is very uncomfortable. Even it's though it's funny looks you dope, said that because I, I I had spoken that I feel like these won't crease as much as the bread patterns. Probably not. Because it's like for, I don't know what it is. It's about almost like it. broken in already. Yeah, yeah. it is. This like, is a cop, 1,000% for me. Cop. I love this shoe. It's very good. I like the navy. I think that's a good touch. Yeah. Kai says these are for Bay. So if yeah. you got a girlfriend and the holidays <laughs> are coming up, Bay needs the bubble gums, bubble gum bays. Yeah. I wear size 13, so I'm out of there anyway. Biggest oh, yeah. size is going to be 12W, which is I'm 10 and a half men. We're going to go into arguably the most anticipated, in my opinion, Let me shoe guess. of yeah, here we go. 11. Oh, there you called go. it. It's, well, <laughs> you gotta appreciate with the box. With the yeah, box. With the box. That's yeah. very hard with to do. With the box. That's very box. hard to do. I People, need these. Obviously. You seen these already? I have seen I, uh, them. Yeah, I, I have seen them. I need them. I had the uh, the other ones from. What was the last time they did it? 2011. Yeah. Yeah. So I had that pair, but I bought a used pair, and it was like yellow. Yeah. yeah. So but and that's I, like the vibe now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah see, now it would be yeah. dope. But you can't put cream laces on this. No. This is a shoe that's so iconic. You don't touch it. You you leave it alone the way it came. Yeah. Just like the breads, they raised the patent just a little bit. They also silvered out a little bit more on the jump man. Not the other one was a little more white. This one's a little more silver. But other than that, you still got the icy blue sole. The carbon is still the same. So there's not a lot of change in this one. Yeah. And then the suede. The suede is very, very good. It's that an, tongue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you feel that? That's it's good. Solid. I could sleep on it. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Something that we did remember was not this time, not the time before in 2011, but the time before that, it wasn't icy blue. It was mm. clear. Yeah. So uh, we what do you assuming think about that, that maybe it was getting dirty too fast, and so they try to ice yeah, it out a little bit, try to help with that, so it, maybe it oxidized yeah. faster too. Exactly. I so think it also it's just like turning more yeah. yellow too quick because yeah. it's kind of technically already yellowish. Yeah. I think. I think it saves them too in shipping too, because look what happened with the the sixes where it was like yeah, yeah. yeah. It so started like they don't want to they don't want pairs to arrive and they're messed up. So oh yeah, I mean, the car the car oh. how there's red all over. Yeah, the car. yeah. Because if it was clear and they come in and they're already starting to oxidize, people are gonna be like, we had some of those pairs come. In, but we uh, fortunately we were able to move those when they yeah. did come yeah. in. Yep. Also, like this shoe is probably gonna restock a few times too, so they they have them in the warehouse. So that's maybe a reason why yeah. they did it. This but. is a million pairs. Yeah. You know, every 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 December million they pairs. Flood, Jordan they Levins. flood yeah. the shoes over million, with it, bro. So. Any holiday drop for Easy or Jordan is flooded. But yeah, definitely a cop for this. I'm gonna take an IG photo wearing a Wizards jersey. There you go. Game over. How do people get your shoes? Like, do you personal sell to people, or do you have like how Neville has his online where he drops stuff, or do you have any? Away? I usually just take it to a few people that usually would just buy it off me in bulk. Or sure in LA, I'm sure in LA yeah. you have a bunch of stores you can. Yeah. If it's like on. one or two pairs, maybe I'll go to like a local store to do a video and trade for some content. But if I need to sell a bunch of pairs, I'll take it to like Soul Supremacy or the beauty uh, of being a YouTube sneaker. YouTube, uh, <laughs> that for sure. Yeah, it's, it's like cool. I'm done. I'm ready to upgrade. Yeah, so I mean, it's yeah, like I said, I just gotta keep recycling. About to get hit with a combo. Right yeah, now. you about to get one you're two. Being, you're being hit with a one two. One two. Oh, TKO. Oh. About Left, to get knocked right. out. Let's get it. Here it is. Oh, Big I've bangers. seen these ones. I haven't yeah. seen the Brazil. Yeah. A lot of people like, haven't seen this. Those one. leaked yeah. later, so like yeah. about a month yeah, later, and later. they only shot the top view, and they leaked it, so yeah. you didn't know if it was or not a part of the and trio. But yeah. they come in threes. They come in. They do come in threes. Always like black and white. Threes. Black and white. Oh, black okay. and white. And this one were the first two to leak. This one's the one that came later. When That's, did these even come out? Do we know? Uh, no date. No, no date. date. It's T supposed to be soon. They said November. They said November. Good ass leather. Great leather. Great leather. That's what I would say about these. This is is what I would have expected from the Fragment Dunk High. I was, wow. I was a little disappointed in the quality of yeah. the Fragment Dunk High. I feel like this is what we should have got for Fragment, for fragment yeah. being what it is. Yeah. They don't have anything cheap, period. So yeah. to, to give me that quality of a shoe, this is what I would have expected, but I'm glad that Supreme is there on the quality. And it's crazy because we got those pairs in super early and the price was super high. And then when yeah. everyone got them in hand, everything just like yeah. tanked. Yeah. And then we were just kind of one of those situations where we were able to dump the ones we got in early and not take a loss. But yeah. it's just sad to see something like that happen that hasn't happened in a long time and then be an upset like that. Yeah, it's yeah. weird how Fragment is so hit and miss like that. The back of the shoe, by any means, is with the Malcolm X 
yeah. quote that they've done. And they've done stuff with Malcolm X before with the picture T and certain things yeah. like that. Above the tab is the Supreme Team. I personally wish they would have done the letters white on all the pairs to match with the same color white stitching yeah. they have all over the shoe. But nothing against it at all. Definitely cool. No love. What was the thing you're saying about? Oh, no I was love, saying. I was saying. I think they did this kind of like the I love the New York. Yeah. You know, I love New York shirts. Because you got the New York kit yeah, with the Nike York, check. Yeah. It's Supreme from New York. You know. No, no love. It I, is a dunk high though. You yeah. prefer? I still. I like highs more. Than more? Lows, to be you honest. What? I like dunk highs. It but I'm not even supreme lows. I'd rather go supreme low than supreme high. Like, so I'm yeah, not. Th dunk my low. my audience always flames me for saying this. Is I'm not really a dunk guy. I, I prefer Air Forces. Okay. I wear dunks. I have a few pa like I have two or three pairs right now. But like growwing up for me, it was Air Force ones. Right. Throwbacks, Air Force ones, fitted caps. That that's how in the Bay Area. Yeah. That's what we wore. Um. So I've loved Air Force Ones more, but I always, you know, I appreciate what they do with the dunk. Question though, Yeah. before dunks got popular, were you already wearing them? Like again? I had one pair like three or four years ago. I think it was three years ago. And it was like a super like low key pair that had corduroy on it. It had orange, brown and blue on it. I'll pop up a picture. Yeah. And my boy Jacob, who's a big dunk guy, when he came to my house, I had him roast my sneaker collection. Yeah. Cause we have completely different tastes. Yeah. And he pulled those out. He's like, I, I like, the fact that you have these and nobody cares about these is dope. And I was right. like, yeah, because I just saw them and they were like 180 bucks on StockX. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Them. and you yeah. like them. So, yeah, it's, that's the thing about me. It's like, yeah, I'm the hype beast, I guess you could say. But if there's a dope shoe and a dope colorway, I'll take it, whether it's a GR or whether Whatever it's a it Dunk is, yeah. or an Air yeah, Force yeah. One. So Same. Now how many do you have? I only have three. So I've, I've stayed. Like, yeah, I have three? the carpet companies. Oh, that's good. That's a good one. P rods. Yep. And I just got the mummies. Yeah. Wow. Mummy. Yeah. Nice. Are yeah. And I think these are just cool. I like the themes. Yeah, they're, like, they're more sure. themed out. Anything, uh, a, anything SB nowadays is all theme related. Even yeah, what yeah. Larry's got on his feet right now. Yeah. Those yeah. are hard. Yeah. Yeah. I love not anything else, too. great collector's pieces. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. See, even these, I typically, I again, I don't necessarily like wearing my $1,000 dunks. Yeah. You know, I appreciate them for what they, like, as pieces of art. And, but you know, Scott's like, man, we gotta be wearing the dope stuff. You yeah, know you what have I mean? to. So yeah. now it's like, like when now, we travel and things like that, people want to see things they haven't seen in person. So yeah. to have it on your feet helps them. Just like when we're teaching them about yeah. the history of the shoes, it plays a role. So it's yeah. like people love that. Like, damn, I've never seen those before. Like when I pulled over my Air Yeezy twos, like everybody was just in awe because a lot of kids, yeah. you know, they don't see that kind of stuff. They only see you know, whatever GRs are, you know, around. And that's yeah. what's the, uh, the significance what's of the, the trophy. What's the GR, the Jordan ones that I love with the yellow tour yellow? The tour yellow. The tour yellow. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One's got the yellow swoosh and the one's got the fine. It's like, I love that shoe. That's the one where they ripped no one, one of them off. It, yeah. it sat everywhere. No, yeah. no one's messing with it. And them. I love that yeah. shoe. Yeah. The real question white and black, Brazil. Or the navy and red. Which one's everyone's favorite? Well, I'm going white and black. I'm going white and black. I'm going with these, honestly. Okay. It's, yeah. different. it's different. A couple people. Larry said yeah. that. I'm, I I honestly think the Brazil colorway for okay. that one. Yeah. Just because it pops. I have the Brazil dunk low. I yeah. didn't end up keeping it. However, there's been several times where I'm like, I should have kept that. Shit. <laughs> yeah. And so now that I feel like maybe there's a second chance. All right, so on to the next box. Well, we I do want to yeah. point out what one thing. So when I see this shoe, the first thing that I think of is like a custom fitted hat. How you get the yeah. custom stitching over like over the NY it. logo. Yeah. And I feel like that might have been the theme because like New York, although fitted hats have come back throughout the whole world, I feel like yeah. New York has always been on their fitting. fitting. That's the yeah. mecca. That's yeah. the mecca of fitted hats. Yeah. One thousand. So you think there's gonna be a uh, supreme hat they drop with this? That would be hard. Yeah. A fitted new era hat fitted. with the Nike swoosh on with it. The, with the teal brim. I got that the color brim on. <laughs> that would be sick. Yeah. All right, we're going to expert. All right, here we go. I don't care about designer. I'm trying to play me, they ain't know no better. Harp on me, you can call me Chris Webber. Brand new whip with the brand new leather. Here we go. This is, this is the top tier. Hold on, we're going top tier. All right. Damn. Need them. You seen these yet? I I saw them, yeah. but I didn't like get to like really examine examine them. <laughs> yeah. These are fire, bro. I'm a sucker for the quilted sock liner. Yeah, always it's premium. I, I do prefer the threes more. Hundred percent. I will say that. Hundred percent. But yeah, th these are hard. These are definitely it's a clean hard. shoe. It's so a clean shoe. if you take a look closely into the paint. It almost looks like it was like spray painted and then now it's cracking, it's cracking. off. Yeah. yeah. Is this python? Is it a snake or is it alligator? What is it's that? It's definitely python. Do you think? Yeah, snake. It's a snake. It's, so, it's dope. Yeah. I feel like you snake. could even wear these with these left loose. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
We can't skip out on this. You have to expect things of yourself before you do them. Michael Jordan's signature. And then there's another one. Yeah, that one's this harder. One. Oh, this one, this one doesn't have anything. Oh, I think it's on that one. Shoot, yeah. yeah. And and shout out to James Whitner. Seeing him grow, even now, like he only has like a couple thousand followers on Instagram. Even the establishments that he has, like his boutique is like, there's a boutique and then there's like a boutique hotel. So it's a whole experience. You could stay there. I mean. And they got like uh, art inside of the hotel rooms correct. and you vinyl can, like, collectibles. And you can buy the things inside your hotel room. Like, he also has a restaurant down below yeah, as well that correct. you can eat from. Correct. So, so it's I mean, an experience. I just feel like this in Atlanta. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All mom and your Atlanta. It's and very so cool. I just feel like this man doesn't get enough credit for what he's doing. Like anybody else with, you know, sh sneaker collabs like yeah. that with Nike is on a way bigger platform. Here's this guy doing as much as he does for as long as he's yeah. been doing it with his own beautifully crafted shoes. And, you know, Nobody's, nobody's Crazy. nobody knows. I think this is the first one out of all the shoes where actually having them in hand has made me want them. Like I, yeah. at first I'm like, they're cool. I like them. Yeah. I like the threes more, but now I'm like playing with this like inside. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, this is soft. Yeah. Like I, I want the these three. bro. Learning is a gift. Even when pain is your teacher yep. with the signature. All right, we're about to go into the ugliest hype shoe. Yeah, oh, for man. sure. Here That's why go. I thought this one should go before that one. But... Yeah, but it's, it's just more hype. Let's so see, I was like, let's all right. See. <sighs> the death spike. I like the hang tag. <laughs> the suede hang tag yeah. is cool. Feel how heavy this thing is for how light and low, or how low it for is. For having holes in it? How is it this heavy? This, this, I feel like this should have a blade for some ice skating or something. Right. That's the vibe yeah. it gives me, but I don't it's, know. It's very crammed. Everything seems like it's just yeah, kind it's like of squished, right? squished in here to make yeah. it all work. And so in my opinion, I'm not even really sure what this is. There's no like air bubble to it or anything like that. I'm never a fan of the spike. Yeah. So as far as this shoe, out of everything we've showcased, this is by far my least favorite of them all. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you have any of the other uh, collaborative off-white ones that have this spike in the back, but if, when you're driving, it's like the craziest thing. <laughs> Weird. Freaking toe's gonna come out this hole right yeah. here. Yeah. Right? I, 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 oh, look, I just, look what he's doing. The toe is definitely coming out. And the world's smallest off-white stamp. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't like that either. It's too <laughs> small. <laughs> what is this? A stamp for ants? <laughs> Just know, if you don't lotion your, your heels, they will be exposed. Yeah. You will see the cracks. So. It's very like... For the people that rock Raph and you know yeah, Rick yeah, and yeah, all yeah. that, I feel or like it's I that could even see, yeah. I could see someone like Frank, someone that wears like tech. very heavy tech wear, yeah. mm. doing so. I'm, I'm assuming like to everybody, this is a pass. 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 pass, pass. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna keep it off white. All right, we got a box. We got an early box. What is this? It looks right. like a brick. early with oh, the box. It's, it's, it's a brick. This one you brick. told me about, but it's a brick. Literally, literally a brick. It's literally what? a brick. This reminds me of Mario. They had to do a little work to get this box see out. Yeah, you yeah, see that? Look at the back. All the way around. We've never funny. actually had this happen before. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. You said, I you're, an, you said you're an Air yeah, Force I forgot. guy. I forgot now, about the these. Wow. Heavy. Is that why? Yeah. But it weighs. But it weighs as like much as a brick. brick. Mids are a little heavy. I like these. The coolest thing about this is this sole. It's melted. I don't dislike it. See, it's all melted. I think I need different colors in it but i like what's going on here because mm -hmm. i like i said i grew up on air force ones but yeah. i grew up on lows mids and the high high tops right like right, right. the rashid wallace high tops but thoughts on the clear swoosh that i didn't even notice that that's yeah. hard that's, that's like sick. Swoosh is pretty cool it's like how he did on the the jordan mm -hmm. one it's just the two uh yeah. threads holding it on yeah there. Yeah, yeah i'm actually or excited to see these i think these are comes hard. in a black colorway as well and then if you notice he added the the structured circle on the top to hold the loops down more. Usually it's just like one little hole, but what I've noticed is with my Vapor Maxes, the little holes, they were getting ripped out. Yeah, so a lot of mine right. were popping out. So I think this was just to reinforce it a little bit more. And then I'm not quite sure what this big block break on the side is <laughs> yeah. that they added, but the whole shoe isn't spiky. So I don't know as how far as balance, foot. how that's going to feel, but it definitely looks like a weapon. You can, you can <laughs> it looks like a weapon you can, for you sure. You can definitely take off running in the snow easily. For sure. Yeah. That. yeah. For sure. I thought that this shoe, um, originally when I first saw it, this material, I thought it was a uh, knit. Yeah. Like you remember, you remember I used to do, Nike used to do all the knit yeah. shoes. But it's Teflon. Kobe's, it's like a yeah. tech material. It's like, yeah. Is this the first time that the air unit is visible on an Air Force One? Or the, have they done it? I think they did it with the clear midsoles back in the day. But this is the first, first time, time where they put the like a whole, actual hole. hole. So yeah. it, it really is like they're melting it to show you the inside. Because even the, 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 that's actually, that's the ridges look like it they're melted. They use like an old retro 
Damn. air script on there as well. It looks like it just yeah. went through like a Have time portal. Yeah. It's just been like warped. Pants tucked into it a little yeah. bit. This is as this is art. Like yeah. you keep saying, like mm-hmm. this would be if I never wear these. Which this might be the only reason why I never this wear these. If I never wear these, these will sit on the shelf as a great display piece. So what's this is a cop? I'm this assuming. This is a cop for me, bro. Whether I wear them or not, I want these in my no, collection. No, you're gonna. You're gonna have the day where you like fly out to Denver for something <laughs> yeah, 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 like yeah, in the, the snow <laughs> with a fire fit with those on Masha and the snow. Oh, yeah. All cool little paper. They look sick. Like now that I'm looking at them from yeah. this yeah. point of view, yeah. it's sick. And, and, it, and it doesn't even, especially seeing it like that next to the five, it doesn't feel like it's huge Look compared to the five you know what i mean in terms of the silhouette yeah a little soft terry cloth and then what does it say on the inside of the box this end up they were almost telling the person how to sneak it yeah, out of the right. factory <laughs> and how to rebuild it. Yeah. How many so, pairs are we at right now? Bro, we've been going at Let's it for like this. an hour. Yeah. How many pairs are 13. we at? 13. We're down to the last two, so we did 15 total pairs. I think I know what the last yeah. two are. You want to see these? Yeah, let's do right. it. One at a time balls. or both? Nah, we got to go. Bye. Oh my God. And, and we boxes. got boxes. We got boxes. Corporation. Now, they haven't been doing the corporation should on we make, the other boxes, Should we right? make a disclaimer about Astro Yes, World, let's do that. Let's do that. Because obviously you guys know what happened at Astro Fest, so yep. we just want to keep in mind that we are aware of the situation and um, we're not like praising Travis. You know, we've praised no. him over the last few years because he has been doing a lot of great stuff, but we know it's a sensitive time. But, you know, at the end of the day, these are sneakers yeah. and we're appreciating them for the sneaker and not the artist. I feel like that's the best way to that's say it. Best, I agree. That's literally the most best way to put it yeah. into perspective. Okay. So. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get it. You want to do both or one at a time? One at a time. Okay, All right. Okay, one at a okay, time. Okay, we'll right. start. We'll start with the eggnog or the eggnog. Well, Saturn. S- the actual color is Saturn, Saturn gold. Saturn, Saturn, Saturn gold. gold is the actual colorway. Okay. So I don't like this colorway as much as the other one, right, but. Right. I, I like this collaboration. It's like a I think muted, it's dope. muted yellow. A couple key things to look at for the shoe is the hidden lace loops on the inside, so they're tucked in. That's a key thing to look for. If you see right here, this pulley string, so when you tie your shoes tighter, this pulls it around and grips it tighter as well, so it's more snug on to you. This so is what's at- really weird to me. The, where's your like, where's your branding on yeah, the bottom? Yeah, he got his own outsole, which is the most expensive part of the shoe to make. Yeah, look at this. No Nike branding. That's same, crazy. Same design. A little right is there, there. A very yeah, it's tiny. That's all they get. Yep. So this is the same design as the SB when you take off the first layer. I don't know if you guys remember the dunk that he did when you take the oh, first yeah, layer yeah, off. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, that yeah. lightning looking material. The check is made out of baby little beads. Yeah, that feels, yeah. feel it, like moving around. It feels it's almost me. like uh, like a braille weird, in right? a sense. And then my favorite part is the muted uh, or the blacked out air bubble. That's my favorite part. Mm. Cause that is when we good. first saw it, I was like, is it actually an air bubble? It is yeah, still an air bubble. It's still an air bubble. Yeah. But the concept of yellow on yellow on yellow on yellow. And the inside is like purple almost, right? I like this color. It's like, yeah. I mean, the more I'm sitting here breaking it down. Yeah, exactly. For I sure. Like this Same. Color. Okay. I like these. They're definitely growing on me as I'm holding them. Right. Yeah. I oh. love the whole hiking theme and how you mentioned that this locks you in because I know, like, yeah. my boy yeah. Jacob, he rolled his ankle hiking. So it's like, yeah. if you would have had that lockdown, yeah. it would have helped. So. Um, the back, if you see one flag says Nike and one flag says Cactus Jack. Show insole, too. And then it's long with the branding on the insole. No, nah, but right. these are dope. I like these. But I like the other. There we go. Let's just go straight in. More. Are you ready? Let's go straight in. All right. These Oop. man, something about that red added to it just pops yeah. with the brown. It's hard. Is this this is like leather or is it's like new book? But it's, it's no, like, it's, it's not. It's like in between. Yeah, these are. I like these. It's just this is more my lane on. for matching my style of colors, but I like both. It's classic Travis colorway. Yeah, yeah this yeah, red definitely. is very poppy. Yeah, so we'll run it around yep. for you guys. Yeah, that slow. Bring that over here later. But you guys know that when Travis drops something he's always gonna drop in some sort of yeah. tan or brown colorways for the most yeah, part. Now, if you had to choose between the two, which one you rocking with? I think this one, but I, I still like that one. Like yeah. if I were to enter a raffle for both and that one would have hit, I wouldn't be, be cool. mad. Yeah. But if this one would have hit, I would be a little bit happy. But yeah, these are dope, man. I like them. And I'm kind of like how the dunks, I'm not really a big Air Max person. I only have literally one pair, which is the Sean, because he gave me them. And yeah. it's like, I'm never but, gonna get rid on, of them. Run that back. Yeah, Sean gave, <laughs> Sean gave, yeah, me, a Sean pair. gave me a pair. <laughs> how, do you just, how do you just casually slip that in? Like? So when round two first opened, they were like the first Melrose sneaker store. Yeah, and everything was on Fairfax. Yeah, and that was around the time I moved to LA. So my one of my first like sneaker shopping videos was at their store. Yeah. So I was like, I always I built that relationship. Used to be there. Brought lot, awareness so. from the jump yeah. for them and yourself. They were like the first store that wasn't like, oh, no cameras. Yeah. They were all for it. They were like and, that for us. It was yeah, welcoming. Yeah, so Sean since then is has only showed love and then one day I was in the store and he's like, yo, like, 
here you go. Sick. So I was like, what? Hell yeah. So yeah. I got the like friends and family box. Yeah, with all, all the extras. Sign? Uh, no, but I mean, next yeah. time I see him, yeah. 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 you can pull up whenever. It's not yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so. Now, this is my main concern. In our store and in general, anything Travis drops always goes up in resale value instantly. It never just goes down and up. It technically goes up, comes down a little bit, but stays relatively double it or doesn't more. doesn't take. Yeah. Right. Yeah. My concerns is what do you think is going to happen now? You know, it's one yeah. of those situations. It's like, do people are going to buy for the love of the shoe or are people going to do out of respect the, for what's going on? The real question is, is the shoe still even going to release? Yeah. You and that's kind I mean? of why we've took it all off the website because it's one of those situations where yeah. we don't know. So, and then for the record, for me, I feel like if they were to release, that's the one everyone's going to go for. So I'm taking the other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want whatever. Yeah. So I don't know. It's, it's definitely something to think about because yeah. we don't know where his relationship with sneakers as far as Nike stands right now. Yeah, Either way, I, yeah. respect to all the families and, and everybody who was there. I mean, it's just an absolute tragedy. I feel like his shoe shouldn't be associated with the concert itself. I guess it yeah. is because it all ties in. But like my point of view is like I appreciate the shoe for what it is yeah, rather than for sure. the person behind it. So are you yeah. like that with a lot of his release? Like it just collab releases in general? Yeah. Like you base it off just whether you like the shoe the itself shoe. and not who's collabed with it? Yeah, I mean. A, the, a little bit of the hype beast in me does like it a little bit more because it is a Travis, but can't even name a shoe that he made so far that's bad. Like, yeah. With Virgil, I, I could point out, and I, I'm a big Virgil fan too, but with Travis, like maybe the, very, what about the 270. The very, what about the 270? I like them, but they're still, no, yeah, no, they're cool. the very first they're not, Jordan. They're not trash, right? The very first Jordan, the high, the super high one. Uh, before That was before his uh, Travis high. I even what? had the Travis, the 34s. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, you're on 34s. Yeah, you said the one. Yeah, you said the one. No, I said it was the one before the one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is yeah. very oh, yeah, first yeah, one yeah, that yeah, he yeah. ever dropped. The Jordan 34. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had and those. So, yeah, and, I remember uh, that. I did, did, that was just a bad basketball shoe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Jordan Band. I love you guys. Yeah. But, well, yeah. there's 15 shoes. That's 15 I early birds. <laughs> All right, sideline shot. That's it. That's the early bird. That's the that's oh, the prize. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> we want, didn't hear that one. I want him to do it. Yeah, yeah, I gotta hear it. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. <laughs> the first time I did it, it's kind of hard. It's funny. Him, it's, uh, it's it's funny because people will call them like caca. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's right. got their own style to it. It's cool. So right, it's okay. I'm, first, I, I just want to say. <laughs> Cringe warning, trigger <laughs> warning. Cringe I'm gonna warning. try to do it, but this is gonna be. Do you want bad. us to do it in the background so that it kind of fills in your. Yeah, we can do it in sequence. So let's just, I'm like trying to ever, practice it. Let's just all be harmonized before. <laughs> One, two, three. three. Oh! Hey, you did it. You're good. Yeah, you did it. You're I kind of stopped midway and let y'all take this in. But <laughs> hey, so birds, that was it. That was the early this, bird special. This is the biggest early yeah. bird we've yeah. ever done. So no, look this at this. Hey, all of you jealous. Trying to play me, they ain't know no better. Perp on me, you can call me Chris Webber. Brand new whip with the brand new leather. Shit, now I made plays. Yeah. Hey, all of jealous. Staying high with the mace, tipping wine to the face. Drowns hit me from the door. It's a line at the place. I'm at home in the mitten. I got ties in the lay. I probably pull a pack. Crowd in the flower of a stage. All right, guys, we mentioned a giveaway, and uh, yeah, this is what we're giving away right here the Trophy Room Air Jordan 1s. Probably one of the more hyped releases of the year. Top 10? You guys think it's top, top 10? 10. Top yeah, 10? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was really, there was no release to it because almost every pair was back. <laughs> Let's not get so. into that. <laughs> this guy, but hey, we're going to be giving a pair away to one of you guys. They have a good size run, yeah, so it, the winner will be able to select their size. Here's the rules very simple. All you guys have to do is follow the rules that are going to be in the description box down below one you got to like this video and drop a comment two this is the most important part you got to subscribe to not only this channel but you got to subscribe to their youtube channel again i'll leave the link down below and three i need you guys to go on my instagram on my very last post and comment done because that's how i'm going to select the winner and then i'll put you guys into contact with them and they could you know send Ship you the out. shoes we wanted to give these away i think it's a really good release to give away and uh, free two thousand dollars easy yeah. an easy grail for your Exactly. Yeah, and it's numbered out of 12,000. We are going to be filming something for their channel as well. Basically, I'm going to start shopping now. I've been in here pretty much all day and I've been itching to, you know, buy some stuff now. So the whole shopping video will be on their channel. So another reason for you guys to go to their channel and check it out to see what I cop. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be hanging out with you guys. But for YouTube reasons, thank you for having me <laughs> at the store. Course, Appreciate you, you guys. Oh, yes, sir. Me out. And uh, there's you. definitely going to be a lot more content with these guys because like, like I keep saying, like, 
I don't know. I feel, I feel like I've known them for years now, and it's yeah. only been a couple of days. So. I, feel like even, I feel like we've been doing this together yeah. all yeah. Yeah. for a yeah. long time. So. And they give their employees free haircuts on Tuesdays, so yeah. you know, hey. I might be coming to Dallas a lot more. Okay. Hey. Trying to play me, they ain't know no better. Herp on me, you can call me Chris Webber. Brand new whip with the brand new leather. 